Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for Demon Slayer Season 1, Episode 15. Last episode, we had a pretty funny one. It involved, uh, we finally got Inosuke's name, we got to see his face under that boar mask, um, and we got to see how their team dynamic is kind of gonna kind of be seemingly, uh, friggin' poor Tanjiro has to deal with these two, you know, doing their crazy antics and have to try to put up with them and, and all that, so it was pretty funny. I enjoyed it. Um, we ended the episode with them taking a break. They are resting at this place at, like, a family that was saved by Demon Slayers and now supports Demon Slayers. Uh, so they're, like, free of charge getting to stay, heal up and everything before their next mission. Uh, but we had uh, Zenitsu see Nezuko for the first time and freaked out because... Uh, Tanjiro has been keeping this luscious lady from him, and he is very upset about it, so, uh, I'm sure we're gonna get, at least for the first few minutes, a ta uh, Zenitsu gushing over Nezuko, and I don't, he still doesn't even know that Nezuko is Tanjiro's sister, so, Tanjiro finally has to say that, so, anyways, guys, let's get started and see what happens. We're gonna start here in five, four, three... Two, one, now. Yep, Nezuko. Oh my god, is it gonna recap it a little bit? Yep, it is. Of course. His voice went so deep. Guys like you must be purged! His sword's pretty cool. The lightning design on it. I remember talking about that. Alright. Right into the opening. It's going to be one of those things where they're about to fight. And then Tanjiro is going to finally say that it's his sister. And then he's going to stop fighting. And he's going to say, you should have told me sooner. Or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to eat some cashews before the episode starts. <laughs> I'm on the tail end of, uh, of my recordings for today, so um, I am pretty hungry right now. Just trying to hold myself over. Alright. I wonder if this whole episode is I'm going to be healing. No, are they going to recap it again? Oh, okay. She's running away. <laughs> oh my god. They're just running circles around this room. What the hell? <laughs> Is this lady going to turn out to be something?
<laughs> what? Hmm. Hmm. Something battered and fried. Oh my god. What is happening? Like how Nezuko is just completely out of the situation now. Alright. Mount Natagumo. Okay, fully recovered. All didn't is the only thing the doctor said is this is severe and then fully recovered. Oh no, I guess he mentioned like ribs are broken and stuff, didn't he? Are they gonna go to their next mission? North northeast. Alright. All three of them are supposed to go. I kind of thought they'd hang out together for a bit, based off how uh, the ending goes. Seeing them spend time together and everything, so. Interesting. I wonder how common it is for three demon slayers to group up and fight together. Uh <laughs> About to fucking punch this lady. Ah. Like a good luck ceremony. <clears throat> well. They kept talking about like, calling her a monster or whatever. She's out in the sun and she's not burning or anything. So she's not a demon. At the very least. One of them would have sensed it anyway, so. <clears throat> They're gonna have to, like, teach him the ways of the world. Sorry about the humming in the background. As usual. Happens quite often. Huh. <laughs> yeah, he just... Yeah, he, like, grew up on a mountain away from people, so I don't think he just understands any kind of just customs. Oh my god. Ominous. Violin. Oh my god. Creepy violin is back again every time we see the mountain. Actually, I don't know if that's a violin. Maybe the mountain is playing the creepy music. Oh. Smelling something evil, Tanjiro. Yep. All right, here we go. They're fully recovered, so this will be good. Shit, is that another demon slayer?
Oh shit! Strings. Well shit! Is he gonna be dead? He seems like a very generic character design. Oh. Okay. I wasn't sure if he recognized the smell. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Inosuke hasn't showed fear before. He's just... Yep, laughs and heads straight at it. <laughs> I want to see Zenitsu pass out again. Ugh, spiders. Fuck that. Who are you, creepy child? Spider webs. Is that what it is? Is she a spider chick? Are those webs? Who is this? Who is that? <laughs> oh, this first person view. Whoa, the environment looks so crazy. What? That wasn't like a real shot or anything, was it? That looked nuts. That was great. Uh, they sensed you now. They know. I sense everything through the webs. <laughs> I hate running into spider webs. <laughs> the noises he makes, I love it. Ah! <laughs> hmm. Is he realizing? Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. Is that one of the demon slayers? Were those all demon slayers that were caught in the webs up there? <laughs> Jeez. Is he a higher rank? Jeez, 10 Demon Slayers? That's so many! Oh, they got webbed. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought when I saw the strings puppeted, marionetted by the strings. Shit. Jeez. Oh my god. We're definitely gonna see freaking like, Inosuke get puppeted or something and he's gonna like, go along with it because he wants to fight Tanjiro or some shit, I don't know. Maybe not. <gasps> Aww. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Hashiras. 
<gasps> Gyo. Shinobu. Oh, Gyu's coming back in the story. I'm so excited. He was really badass in the beginning. I want to see what he's like now that we know a little more about the world. Oh, I didn't expect that. That's cool, man. That's cool. So there might be some blood moons here. You need you need friends to sit there and talk you into going every single time they go on a mission there, buddy. Oh my god. Fucking pity party. <laughs> I like how they give us subtitles. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, is that going to be his motivation to go? Oh my god. Oh. Alright. That's how that's how we're going to lure Zenitsu around to fight. <laughs> is we're going to fucking bait him with Nezuko. Sounds like the strings, right? Kinda sounds like strings, or maybe like a spider making a weird noise, I don't know. <clears throat> you know that sound of like taut strings when they're like being pulled? Oh shit. Yep. They're being puppeted. Their movements don't seem too, like, complex or anything, like, I feel like Tanjiro should be, and Inosuke should be fine. <laughs> yeah. Nice, Tanjiro. Oh. Damn, so some of them are corpses, and some of them are still alive. Damn. <laughs> God damn it. He listened. He didn't just stab him. Alright, so he couldn't see them, but he could smell the strings. <laughs> the question is, is could he see where they were? Could he see where they were, or was he just randomly slashing and hoping that he hit them? Ah, uh, the spiders, they're putting the webs. Probably. Yep. Hmm. So it's gonna keep, like, reapplying the threads unless you stop the spiders? Ugh. She's got joker cheeks. Oh god. She's creepy. Hmm. 
Don't let the spiders get on you. Huh. He's just poking them all. Okay, so the weird smell is making it so you can't find the demon. I thought the demon was the... Murata. Is he already gone? Is he already here? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. One of them's already here. Damn, so they look similar. Uh. His hair kind of looks like spider legs in a way, too. Mother. Shit. Huh. All right, Inosuke's still here. Never mind. Aw, just shy. <laughs> Ooh. Beast breathing, seventh form. Spatial awareness. Is he, like, interesting? That's cool. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know how he's doing it, but that's cool. Found you! And then it goes back. Nice. Oh. That's cool. Don't know how it works, but very cool. Five of us. Damn, there's five of them. All right. Shit. Well, I'm excited. I have a feeling we're going to get some badass episodes. I want... You to show up right now. Oh, I'm so excited to see that guy again. Because, like, he's a higher rank, too. So, like... He's got to be stronger than Tanjiro, I imagine, right? So, like, I want to see that. I, I hope they they show him being, like, a badass, like, far better than Tanjiro. Because I want it to be, like... Because obviously we've seen some strong demons and stuff like that. But I want to see... I want to see, like, the potential of Tanjiro. Where we got to see it briefly in the first episode. But then Tanjiro kind of got better than really anything Gyu disp displayed in the first episode. Not saying that... Not saying that Tanjiro is better than what Gyu was at that point. I'm just saying that, like... The stuff that Gyu showed us was really just, like, moving quickly and stuff like that. So... I'm I'm excited to see what what Gyu can do. And Shinobu too. I'm sure Shinobu is I mean, he said he was gonna send a couple of the Hashi runs or whatever rank. I probably said that wrong. Um so she's probably one of them too. Alright guys, that is the end of season one episode fifteen. So that's the right right? That's the right number, I think. Yes. Alright. Yeah, good episode. I enjoyed it. I I can't wait to uh, to see more. Um, we really we had them finish up their resting. They are now fully recovered. The doctor confirms it, so that was cool. Um, we kind of got like a little bit of antics with. Uh, I don't really have much to say about it, but a little bit of antics. Like I thought we were going to with Zenitsu. I'm glad it didn't last too too long with his like, you know obsession over Nezuko, 
but it's something that I expected, so I guess it didn't bother me as much, because for one last episode set it up, and the outro has been setting it up, because we see Zenitsu, like, run at Nezuko with, like, hearts around him in the outro, or something, so, yeah, um, but, but yeah, all that, like, went by pretty quickly, and then, uh, and they got their next mission, and it's these, apparently it's five of them, like, spider demon things, I imagine they're demons, and, uh, there was ten demon slayers sent, but they, you know, had this ability to manipulate them with strings, it, it's funny because, like, it's kind of like an extreme example. I wish I wish they went into a little bit more detail. Like I understand that they don't want to like design a character specifically for um like just to be killed off, you know? But when they make the characters look so generic, you can just tell when they're not going to be like important, you know? Like seemingly, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe they will surprise me, but any of those 10 that are there even, like, uh, Murata, or whatever his name was, I feel like isn't gonna be important either. Like, I feel like he's gonna die, because they're all just so generic looking, you know? Um, so I wish they would put, like, a little bit more effort into the, the design for those characters, even if they are gonna be killed off, because if all the characters look, like, wacky and crazy, like, you know, Tanjiro with his, like, scar and, and stuff like that, and Zenitsu even... You know, and Inosuke, they all look very unique, whereas all ten of those Demon Slayers there, I, like, at least majority of them, I feel like you could, like, put one on the screen and then flash the next one, and I'd be like, you just sent me the same image, didn't you? Like, I know they do have, like, their slight differences, but either way, you know what I'm saying. Um, so basically, it just makes me feel like they're cannon fodder, and it makes me, like, not really, like, care for them, because I just assume they're gonna die, but... Um, but yeah, the whole marionetting threads is, uh, is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing, I'm looking forward to seeing them fight too. Like, I wonder what these spider demon dudes and chicks, like, like how, it, like, I imagine they fight themselves like hand to hand, right? Because they have to like defend themselves as well. Because like right now all we're seeing them is manipulate other people. So I'm curious how they're going to fight when they actually go to fight is like, Thread's also going to be part of their, their fighting, and since they're invisible, that makes it, like, really tricky, and there's some, like, crazy smell that's hindering, uh, hindering, uh, Tundra's nose, so I'm curious where that's gonna, where that's gonna lead, you know, and, and everything, but, but yeah, um, god, I mean, I talked about it during the outro, but I'm just, all I can think about is how excited I am for Gyu to be back in the story, and how I, I really hope he's a badass. I really hope it's not something where, like, Tanjiro has already, like, caught up to him. Like, I know Tanjiro's the main character, and I know there's probably gonna be a moment where Tanjiro, like, really shines, but I hope it's not at the hindrance, because I know, like, a lot of shows, they have their main character, and the main character does surpass these characters eventually, but I just really hope that, like some time passes before that, like, we haven't even seen Gyu in action, so I hope we see Gyu be, like, far above Tanjiro, and then leave it to, like, another season, or, like, towards the end of this one, where Tanjiro might, like, start catching up to him, you know, if they want to go that route, but, uh, but yeah, I just hope that it's not something where Gyu comes in, shows that he's, like, a badass briefly, but then Tanjiro has to save him, you know, I hope it's not gonna end up being something like that, but, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, with them not being there yet, though, I think it might end up being something along the lines of Tanjiro uh, being in, like, danger himself, and Gyu and Shinobu show up to save them, you know? Um, but I imagine there's going to be a moment where they all fight together, especially because there is five of them, uh, apparently, and now we are about to have five demon slayers that are at least not part of those ten that seem to be cannon fodder, you know? But we're, you know, we're gonna have Inosuke, Zenitsu, uh, Tanjiro, Shinobu, and Gyu. And then there's apparently five of the spiders, so I imagine it's gonna do it. I mean, maybe it won't, but it, it might do the anime thing where they all split up and, and fight one each. 
and that'd be really cool because I'd love to see what Shinobu and Gyu have to offer, you know, so I'm really excited for that, but, but yeah, I mean, other than that, really, we kind of, like, set up this mission, it was a lot of antics, we spent, like, a bit of time with, like, them giving the whole, like, the whole, like, blessing of luck to them because they're about to go into battle, and, uh, Inosuke questioning it, which is just kind of, like, showing us that Inosuke's character is kind of one that doesn't understand customs, because as we've been hinted at, he seems to have just, like, grown up away from people, like, on a mountain, probably, like, alone. That's where he gets his, like, beast breathing and everything, because he probably grew up with, you know, beasts rather than people, I imagine, um... So I think that was just putting a highlight on the fact that he doesn't understand these these customs, you know, and and like Tanjiro even had a hard time like explaining it to him and said like, wait, I don't understand either. But uh, but yeah, it's it's one of those things where you can definitely tell where he just has like a very like straightforward point of view. It's like fight, eat, sleep. But he's starting to see these like little pleasantries that are involved with, you know interacting with other people like it had him flash back on the hospitality the lady showed and it had like a little like glow when he heard like Tanjiro thanking him and everything so I think he's starting to like realize all these little things that he's been going without for most of his life so I think it's pretty interesting but but yeah other than that I mean I don't really have much more to say like did I forget anything in the episode not really Cutting the strings was pretty cool. Tanjiro briefly was able to smell them, and the spiders weaving the strings and everything is is neat. But I'm I'm just really excited to to get into this fight. This episode is definitely a a build up for what's to come. Oh, you know what I didn't talk anything about is the demon slayer leader guy. I imagine that's who this is. Um, his eyes seem to be like not there or. At least he has some kind of scar, like, right on the sides of the nose. It, it reminds me of freaking All for One from My Hero, where we only see his, like, lips and briefly the, the damage done to his face. Um, so I wonder if he is completely blind. I was really thrown off at first with the crow um, when he started talking because his voice reminded me... I mean, I'm sure it's a different voice actor... But for some reason, his voice reminded me so much of Kibutsuchi Muzan that I was, like, worried that that's who we were transitioning to. And I was like, wait, did, like, Kibutsuchi send these Demon Slayers to, like, uh, to go in to die, you know? And, like, did he bait them with, like, a, a fake crow or something like that and give them wrong direction? But ended up being the Demon Slayer leader guy. But, uh... He seems pretty cool. I wonder, like, obviously, someday I'd love to learn more about him, but who knows when or if we'll ever get that. You know, might might not be for a while. But, but yeah, he's got the, the mark, so I'm curious. Is he, like, the leader of the Demon Slayers, but he's out of duty now because of, like, he seemed like he might be blind because you can't see any eyes in that shot? Or does he utilize the blindness to his advantage and he's like a daredevil where he fights while blind because that would be freaking awesome. Oh, man. I, I hope to see that. But, And I guess the last thing I really have to talk about is the spatial awareness ability that uh, Inosuke has. Pretty cool. Um, it seems like they all have some kind of like sensory ability whereas Tanjiro can smell, Zenitsu can hear, and uh, uh, seemingly he can like sense. Now I wonder if that is he like sensing slight vibrations and that's what it is or like I wonder his is the most like where I'm not sure because like obviously what we saw was just a visualization of what he was experiencing but it, that doesn't mean that he actually saw that exact thing you know like it almost reminded me of like a, a daredevil thing where like you know something will like hit and you see like the daredevil vision where like it's like static where the sound happens you know it reminds me of something like that, but but I'm curious, like, the exact function of it, and, like, is he sensing vibrations in the earth, or, like, how is he doing this? Like, because it, you know, it doesn't seem like it's just, like, a magic ability, you know? A lot of these are more grounded, seemingly. Um, at least for what the Demon Slayers do. 
uh but but yeah anyways that's gonna be it for me guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed make sure you hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy check out my patreon if you want to see more from me you can see a couple episodes ahead for demon slayer as well as uh early access for a bunch of my other shows and my patreon exclusives where i'm watching cowboy bebop uh witcher is gonna be on there very soon um and uh whatchamacallit it Squid Game is on there as well, as well as some other exclusives. So check all that out if you're interested. Link is in the description or it should be popping up on the screen. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.